uh, problem 125, chapter 5. Here we have a table which is rotating about this axis with angular velocity of omega, which is 2 radian per second. And also we have this ball, which is moving on this slot on the table. The location of this particle from the center of the rotating table is 125 millimeter at this moment. And also a speed of it in the x direction, in the direction of that slot, is 100 millimeter per second. And the question is, what is the actual velocity of this particle? The actual velocity of it, it's not 100 millimeter per second, right? It is moving by 100 millimeter per second on this table, but the table itself is rotating too, okay? How we can solve this problem? So um, let's say we have this coordinate, x, y coordinate, which is fixed to the table. It is rotating with the table, right? So if you sit on the table and rotate with the table, you are going to see this particle is moving with 100 millimeter per second away from the center of the disk, right? So that 100 millimeter per second is going to be relative velocity of this particle with respect to this coordinate. So V rel of that particle is 100 millimeter per second in this direction, which I'm going to call it I hat. So 100 millimeter per second times I hat. So that's the relative velocity with respect to the rotating frame. But this is not the actual one. So based on the equation we just learned, um, the actual velocity of that point is going to be equal to velocity of the origin of the rotating and moving frame plus the relative velocity plus omega cross r. What is omega? Omega is the angular velocity of the rotating frame, which is angular velocity of the table. And what is r? r is the location of your moving particle in the rotating frame. So this is r. So r, let me write it here, is 125 millimeter in the i direction. So 125 i, and the unit is millimeter. So by plugging all of this here, we can find the actual velocity of A. Actual velocity of A is going to be equal to velocity of the origin is zero. Relative velocity, it is 100 millimeter per second in the i direction, plus omega cross r plus omega is in the k direction, this is my k direction. Um, so I'm gonna have two radian per second in the k direction, cross product r, which is 125 in the i direction. k cross i is um, j, so it's gonna be 100 in the i direction plus 250 in the j direction and the unit is millimeter per second. This is going to be the actual velocity of point A. And also you can find um, the direction of this vector with respect to x, right? That part is simple. I'll leave it for you.